Hello, I am Dr. Sahana Shankar. I am a pediatric gastroenterologist at Narayana Health Bangalore. Today, I will be talking to you about a condition called inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. This is a condition that can affect the gut of both children and adults. Although not very common, it is important to be aware of this condition as it is being increasingly seen in children around the world, including in our country, particularly in southern parts of India. So what is IBD? Although we do not yet know what is the cause of IBD, we do know that it is related to immune dysregulation. Immune dysregulation means the immune system that is meant to protect you from infections becomes overactive in the gut and it remains turned on even when there is no infection, resulting in soreness or inflammation of the intestines. When your child has IBD, they have either Crohn's disease which can affect any part of the gastrointestinal tract from the lips to the anus or from the gums to the bums or ulcerative colitis which is limited to the large intestine or often in children we are unable to differentiate into either of the two in which case your child may have indeterminate colitis. Crohn's disease can affect the entire thickness of the intestine whereas on the other hand ulcerative colitis is limited to the inner lining of the intestine. So when does your child have IBD? When should you seek help? If your child has blood in stools or diarrhea or loose motions that is not going away despite two to three weeks of therapy or vomiting or tummy pains or poor weight gain or weight loss or poor appetite, feeling excessively tired, mouth ulcers, joint pains or redness of the eyes, you should seek help and consult a pediatric gastroenterologist. If your doctor suspects that your child may have IBD, they will order blood tests, stool tests and perform an endoscopy to look at the inner lining of your child's intestine. This may show swelling, redness or ulcers which will then give us a diagnosis of IBD. Your child may also need to undergo a scan of the abdomen, an MRI, to look at the distribution of the disease. Once the diagnosis of IBD has been made, the treatment involves giving medicines that will turn down your child's immune system to make this inflammation go away. But what is important is that this treatment needs to be continued for a long time as this is a chronic condition where the inflammation may come and go. And untreated inflammation can lead to complications such as narrowing of the intestine, occasionally perforation of the intestine or a, or a hole in the intestine, abscesses and in long-standing untreated cases can predispose to cancer. It can also cause difficulties in growth and development and poor bone health resulting in fractures. But it's also important to remember that once a timely diagnosis has been made and appropriate treatment has been started, the child can have a near normal life. So if your child has any of these symptoms, please seek help and see a pediatric gastroenterologist so we can find out what is the problem that's affecting your child. Thank you very much.